Hey, what's going on guys? Well, we're going to try this a second time because my camera was off. I opened this out of the, the original packaging and I'm talking and I'm having a good time and I look at my camera and it's black. <laughs> sometimes I look through the monitor, sometimes I don't. In this case, I wasn't. So, I'm home alone right now and I'm talking to a camera, which is kind of strange, but hey, you guys like it. You know, I enjoy it. Um, talking to a camera that's not even on, borderline crazy. So, uh, unfortunately, I missed the beginning of the, <laughs> the video here. So, we're going to try this again. Okay, so, this package, let's imagine just opened a box. Not really important. And guess what's inside? This right here says, from your friend Matt. Uh, P.S. Keep up the great bids. Okay, let's check it out. First thing here says, not a fan of lanyards. Hopefully, you will find a use for it. I certainly will. An awesome lanyard bead. Definitely. I go on, I'm kind of like this with lanyards. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I take them off my knives, and, you know, I'm not interested, and I go back to them, but I will definitely get use out of that bead. I actually put lanyard beads on all kinds of stuff other than knives. Uh, zipper pulls, uh, the pulls on my bags, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, let's see. Got this from Kickstarter. Thought you might like it. I've never seen this before. It looks like a, it says, key beaner, key binder. XB, KB, maybe? Fortius Arms. So I gotta look into this. Got some hardware here. Got a funky looking pocket clip maybe? I don't know. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna look it up, see what it's all about, and try it out. Thank you very much for that. We got a kick-ass uh, old timer here. A little stockman pattern. Needs a little TLC, but you know what? Reasonably sharp here. Love the patina on that blade. We can get a uh, close up here. Old school Shrade, Shrade New York. Love it. All right. Let's back it out, back it out. Okay. And the last thing here it says it's a Gerber, but it's highly suspect. And I would probably put some money on it that it is just a counterfeit. Certainly not a Gerber pattern I've seen before. Not to say that, you know, it can't be. I just very unlikely that it is. And I'll tell you why in a second. It's very light. Um, Lockup's okay, it's not bad. It says first production run, but I'm kind of thinking this is the Chinese or maybe Taiwanese. It says it's from Taiwan. I think that's their way of tricking us, making us think that this is a model that, you know, just came out or something. Here's the logo on the back. What's throwing me off is that ATS-34. First of all, it looks weird on there. Why is ATS so small and 34 is underneath real big? I don't know. Let's zoom in this way. It's easier to see, I think. I don't know, but I don't like it. What do you think? I'm thinking that's fake. Uh, plus, I don't—I can't even think of a knife offhand in the moment on the spot that uh, Gerber makes with ATS-34. Uh, I don't know. I'm at a blank. But anyway, cool little uh, little beater knife. Anyway, I like the design. You know, it's not a bad design or anything. It's lightweight, decent uh, decent edge on this as well. I just don't think it's Gerber. But uh, anyway. So that's it. Actually, you know what? Let's leave this open and we'll use this to open this other package. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool though. I really appreciate it, Matt. Thank you so much. Um, I will definitely use this stuff. Uh, it's just really appreciate it. You know, anyone, anyone who sends a message is really cool just to go out of your way and send a package. It's like over the top. It's really, it's not needed ever, of course. Uh, it's always appreciated. It's always really nice surprise. So this is something, speaking of surprises, that I did not expect. Uh, this is open on camera on the bottom. This is coming from Cord Canada, uh, www.cordcanada.ca. So, I have no idea what's in here. We're gonna find out right now. Uh, to Jeff, read on camera. Okay. Let's see. Let's use this knife again. Alrighty. Whoa, you guys went nuts with these stickers. <laughs> I like your logo, by the way. Very cool. Okay, we got some cards. Personal info below, so I will put those to the side. Okay. Dear Jeff. <laughs> Dear color lover, but you know what? Not personal enough. Let's make it Jeff. My name is uh, Michelle. Michelle. It might, you know what, it just might be Michael. Uh, I don't know, sometimes, uh, please don't hate me if, I, if your name is Michael and I called you Michelle, or if your name is Michelle and I called you Michael. 
Um, I'm American, and usually Michael will spell with an A-E-L. It's always so much pressure, because, I mean, I've mispronounced people's names before. It makes me feel kind of stupid, to be honest with you. Um, you know, but it's not stupid. I just don't know. You know, no one told me. But anyway, that's that's the person's name. Uh, I'm 16 years old, and I'm a, I am a small business owner and a longtime fan. I recently decided I will start a business to offer a service that is not available at the moment in Canada. A reliable place where you can get quality American-made paracord in Canada for a great price. After long nights and a lot of paperwork, I was finally able to start my business, and so far, so good. Since you're a big inspiration, I just wanted to give you some paracord. Uh, maybe it's time you make a tutorial on how to make a paracord bracelet. You can visit my website, again, www.cordcanada.ca. Uh, thank you, and keep up the great vids. Awesome. Very cool. Well, I'm glad I inspired you. Uh, I didn't know the uh, paracord scene in Canada was so rough. Um, but yeah, all the, the more sources, the better. People got to know about this kind of stuff. You know, that's why I like talking about different businesses and different um, dealers and stuff, because if you only go to one place, you can't really price shop. And, you know, in the gear community and gun community, knives, any, anything that we're all interested in, you want to shop around a little bit. You want to get the best price you can, right? That's the whole point. So, let's see. Oh, very cool. 550, 100 foot Hank. I don't know, why do they call him a Hank? Why not a Bob? Why not a 100 foot Bob of cord? I don't know, maybe Bob was already taken from Bob bag. Could have called it a Bill, you know, 100 foot Bill. I don't know, if you guys know why it's called a Hank, there's probably a very simple solution, very reasonable answer to that. Let me know down in the comments, I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, very cool. So hey, if you guys are looking for Paracord in Canada, check out the website, which again is that right there. Boom. So thank you very much, guys. Appreciate your time as always, and I will see you soon. Take care.